all know mushrooms are cool, but what are they really? And what do they do? And which ones are poisonous? And which ones are delicious? All of these questions addressed on my upcoming mushroom vlogs. I'm a punk star, bitch, I feel like fish snark. Full disclaimer, like any other wild food, there are plenty of mushrooms that you cannot eat that will hurt you or maybe even kill you. So it's really important that before you eat anything that you find outside, that you make a positive identification first. Hello? Really nice form to this white chanterelle. Look at that classic looking. Chanterelles. Where are we at? Not telling. <laughs> Have a golden chanterelle, but this kind is slightly yellow and it's got a double cap on it. Pretty cool compared to a standard golden chanterelle. It's a lot more yellow in color. The same false gills that are attached to the cap, they're not separate. But these are a trademark of chanterelles. It's how you know you've got one instead of a, one of its many lookalikes. About to reinvestigate some of these mystery mushrooms that popped up in the back of my yard right now. Checked them out two days ago. They've kind of fully fruited. They were all in their little ball form and broken off. Figured since we don't know exactly what this is, I think it's an agaricus of some kind. Um, is I'm gonna grab one and we're gonna try to make an identification with a few of the strategies that I know for identifying an unknown mushroom. So I'm just gonna grab one, flip all the way out. So it's a pretty good looking mushroom. You can see that it was connected around this ring when it was smaller before it reached its full fruiting shape. It's like a little orb that connected and it's attached. Pink ish gills. We're gonna see if this apple is what kind of mushroom is this. What do you think? Hi, handy dandy uh, Aurora guy. Should we try to make an ID? So, if one has this cheat sheet. It's gotta be an agaricus. I'm going through the agaricus mushrooms in the book. It's definitely not a prince. 
although that would be really cool. Sort of right, but this cap's too scaly. I figured it out with the book, I'm gonna kind of look online. So I looked up agaricus with pink gills. And let's see what we can do. I'm a punk Bitch, I feel like fish, not some data or you know, getting a distinguishing characteristic from a mushroom is a spore print. We get that by cutting off the cap at the stems, putting that sucker down on a piece of paper and it will drop spores. around this decomposing tree with another tree. I'm going to a mushroom ID workshop with these pros, so I'll bring some of this in and see what we can learn. I'm sure about these things. Kind of looks like there was a ring. Let's take a look at the gills or spore, uh, excuse me, or pores. Looks like we got a ring, it must have been connected by a veil. Looks like gills. Don't get up. Came across these two, I'm not sure what they are. They're kind of large, raggedy. It just rained a lot, so I don't know what that is. Let me know in the comments what other mushroom or foraging related content I should do in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet.